Oh, are we on the air? Hey gang, it's Brian from FX Billiards. Today I am going to show you five shots that involve draw and English. Now, some of these shots are gonna be very difficult. I am gonna be putting out a video that is going to show you how to improve your draw shot, how to improve your draw shot with spin so that you will be able to make these shots. Make sure that you're subscribing and make sure you're hitting that notification bell so when I put out that video, you will get to see it. There have been videos that I put up for a week and then took them down. And if you're not a subscriber, you're not going to see those videos. They just simply aren't on the site anymore. So make sure you subscribe and I'm gonna show you these shots. As I said, I will teach you the techniques to improve your stroke and your draw shot with English in a future video. So let's get started. When I talk about cue ball spin, I may use the word English. Uh, I know YouTube goes out all over the world. In the United States, it is very common, especially in my generation, to call spin on the cue ball English. So if I talk about English on the cue ball, that's what I'm talking about, side left and right spin. English refers to side spin. If, if you want information on the origin of English, and why it's called English, and the fact that it's only left and right spin on a ball, whether it's a ping pong ball or a pool ball or a bowling ball, I will put something on the FX Billiards website to continue your education. But in the meantime, when we talk about English, we're talking about left and right spin. Let's get started. So here's the shot. We're gonna play the five low right hand spin to get out here on the seven ball we don't want to get too close to the seven because we need to get back up table to make the eight ball. So we want to have an angle on the seven. This is how we're going to play it. Low right hand spin, good follow through guys. We come off the rail, we have a beautiful angle on the seven ball. We're able to come off of one or two rails, however you want to do it. In fact, because we're talking about draw with English, now normally I would play this with follow come off of these two rails to get on the eight. I'm gonna shoot this with a little draw shot with English, just to show you we can come out here and play this eight as well. So if we had a situation where our rails were blocked off and we needed to come backwards instead of forwards, that same shot, the shot we just took before, will get us positioned on this eight ball. Of course, the nine is sitting in the pocket, so that's a layup and we are out. So let's look at another shot. This one is also not an easy shot, but it is beautiful and it will open the door for you to play position where you have not been able to play position before. We are on the five ball. We actually have a shot where we could try to play a follow shot here and get into this little tiny window that we could play the seven in this corner pocket. If we pulled that off, we would probably be out from here. If you have great position skills and you have perfect speed and you know exactly where that cue ball is going to have to be in order to make this shot, go ahead and shoot it that way. I can tell you that part of the game of pool is about playing percentages. And this is a very low percentage shot. So what we're going to do is going to be Crazy exotic for some of you, but we are going to draw the cue ball back, come off the short rail, and spin our way over to get the seven ball. Shot looks like this. And now we are on the seven. Bam, so let's look to the next shot. Okay gang, if you are serious enough about your pool game to be a subscriber to FX Billiards, then you have seen this shot before. This is one of my favorite shots, it is a beautiful shot. I always talk about breaking your opponent's spirit. This will break their spirit. You're an APA four or five, you could actually pull this shot off with practice. And trust me, APA threes, fours, and fives, are not gonna like the idea that you took this shot. They're gonna like, where did you learn that? 
you know, you must watch FX Billiards. Anyway, the shot is this. We are on the five ball, and we need to get back down here to our brown seven ball, which is on the short rail. We would normally follow this shot, come off of three rails, and end up right over here to have a shot on the seven ball. But the eight ball is in our way. Colliding with that eight ball doesn't do us any good. Another thing some guys will try to do, which by the way, almost never works, is to stun this shot here, come off of that rail, and come back down to get position on this seven. The problem with that shot is if you shoot it perfectly, you are coming down off the tangent line, you manage to put enough energy into it to come down off that tangent line and come during this path here. Now this path is wonderful if you end up about right here, but by coming off of multiple rails and moving in this direction on this shot, we get a lot of opportunities to get position on this seven ball. We can come off of those two rails and hit this rail here and move in line. We can come off of those two rails and head over to this rail and have a shot on it where if we try to stun it, we've got basically one opportunity to fall in a very tight zone to make this shot. Shot looks like this. We're gonna come down, we're gonna hit this rail right here, have position on the seven. Now what I wanna point out to you, we came off the two rails and we hit this rail. Think about the path of our cue ball. Cue ball came down and hit this rail. Everything from here off of this rail and then back over to this rail, we are in position on this seven ball. The only place we really would not wanna be is up against this rail. Okay gang, this is a shot that I shoot a lot on the channel. It's one of my favorite shots. If you know these shots, then it will help you with tons of other positions that will come up during your play. So here's our situation. We're on the wrong side of this seven ball to get on the eight. First thing you wanna do is ask yourself, can I shoot a follow shot and get on that eight ball? Yes, I can shoot this with high left, come off of this rail, this rail, and this rail, and get down table on that eight ball. Now, can I still do that? Absolutely not. So what we're going to do is come backwards because this is a video about draw with spin, not follow with spin. We're gonna come backwards, come off of those two rails, get down here on the eight ball. The shot looks like this. We come off my favorite diamond and we get position on the eight ball. Okay guys, every shot we've taken so far has involved running English. What is running English? Running English or running spin is when we put the spin on the ball in a way that it aids the ball in going up or around the table. So if we are going in this direction and our cue ball is spinning counterclockwise, you can see how that spin would help that ball get up and around the table. Reverse English does the opposite. It keeps the cue ball from wanting to run away from us. So an example would be if we were playing, say, the six ball here, and we wanted to get position on this, it'd be pretty simple. We just shoot a draw shot. We come back here. Uh, anywhere over here, we would be fine on that six. But because nothing is really the way we want it to be, let's say we had this position where the eight was blocking our way, and now that window where we can get to the six is pretty, pretty small. This is what a lot of guys would do. This is your average player. Oh, what happened? I hit it too hard. That's what happens. <laughs> He's going to overhit it. This is what a good player could do. Making this shot as similar as I can. A good player could come back here and just stop that ball on the rail and have a shot on the six, okay, where he can make it 
even come off multiple rails if necessary to get on this seven ball. But what would that good player actually do? He's probably gonna come back here, shoot the same shot, okay? Still straight in, but use reverse English. Now, why do I wanna put the reverse English on it? I just showed that I can get position on this six ball either way. Because if I put the reverse English, I will stall that ball on the rail, very close to the rail at least, which will ensure that I get on the six. So many of you want to play position that you think you can get. You need to increase your odds so that you are getting position that is likely because you think you can draw it back exactly 28 inches and end up on that rail, but you can't. So put something on this ball that is going to keep it close to the rail and you don't have to worry about maybe you overhit it, maybe you underhit it, maybe you read the table wrong, maybe the balls are a lot cleaner than they are at home. And you know, there's a lot of different things that affect the amount of draw that happens on the shot. So putting reverse English on it, now it's not spinning clockwise, but it's spinning counterclockwise, keeping it from running away from us, allows us to hit the ball a little bit firmer, let our stroke out, and stall. You see that ball just stop and stay there close to the rail so that now we are able to get inside that window to play the six ball. So that's reverse English on a shot like this. Now here's the fun part. Six ball is not on the table anymore. We are straight in on the five ball and we need to get down table on the seven. What do you do? You got a strong draw shot, right? You draw it back, you come off of this rail, and what happens? You hit right there, and your five ball comes right here. It's not gonna do it, guys. You wanna get on that seven ball, you come off of this rail, and you let the running English take that ball up table for you to get on that seven. Now, again, I'm gonna make the shot perfectly straight in, even if I had a bad angle and I was a little bit to the left of this five, this same shot will apply. It would not be as dramatic. We would not get the exact same position, but we could still get up table with this shot. We don't have a follow shot. We're drawing it back here. And let's say we did have a follow shot, but there were other balls in our way and we couldn't come off of two rails to get up table. And by the way, two rails just takes us to the wrong side of that seven. But either way, this way, is totally clear for us. We come straight back, low right hand spin, come off this rail and work our way down table. Did you see the dramatic angle that we had because of that spin? And now we're on the seven ball. This is a drill that will help you develop the stroke needed to make most of these shots. You put an object ball on each short rail. It doesn't necessarily have to be there, but it illustrates what you're trying to do. You give yourself a straight in shot. You're going to draw it back. I'm using left hand spin here. Get yourself up table for that next ball. And then you do the same thing. Don't go to the other side of the table for a reason I'll tell you in a second. You do the same thing down this end. Low right hand spin, come off the rail and get down table on your next ball. Now, the reason you want to stay on one side of the table and shoot that direction is because you need a left hand spin down there and right hand to spin down here. And if you shoot them all with left hand spin, you will get very good at putting left hand spin on the ball, but not very good at putting right hand spin on the ball. If you haven't seen my video on how to shoot a powerful draw shot, it is years old. Back in the day where I only posted about one video every five, six months, um, it was one of the videos that I posted. I'll put a link to that video here. And my next video will be how to shoot that powerful draw shot with spin. So have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe and hit me in the comments. If you haven't subscribed and hit that notification,
shame on you. You are missing a lot of stuff. And like I said earlier, some of these videos come down in five days, so you won't even be able to find them later on. Don't forget to subscribe. Anyway, bottom line, hit the notification button if you haven't done that, and I will talk to you guys soon. Oh, 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 oh,